Uh, good evening. Lucky viewer, well tonight I'm going to take you into another world. An esoteric world to many, the world of piano tuning. <laughs> you see, if you own a piano, you've already spent far too much money to have it tuned properly. So I wish to thank my friend Robert Hoskins for these cheap tips in piano tuning. A piano is like teeth. You can have too many. Too many keys squeezed together tightly can make the piano go out of tune. One must be removed sometimes so the others can breathe. And I had chosen a tooth to remove on this lucky piano. <laughs> We're going to need a hammer and chisel. I've already removed the ivory and I shall remove the rest of it later. But also a piano must be warmed properly because a cold piano is an out of tune piano. I once saw a piano lying on a beach, you know, up to its waist in sand. No doubt its owners thought they were in tune with nature, <laughs> but that piano was so badly out of tune with all the salt water and the sand. It was cold, so I prepared a fire to light under this particular piano to warm it up. You're going to need some matches. Why a fire and not a heater? Because we want the smoke from a fire to rise and bring a tangy resonance to the tunefulness of the keys and the strings. It's a bit like smoking fish take us back to our beach. Be careful though, we don't want a great conflagration here, we just want a fire big enough to warm this piano. You know, in piano playing, practice is everything, it's the same with tuning. So I urge you to start practicing, but not on your own piano, somebody else's, before attempting to tune your own. Let me know how you get on. Good luck. We're all going to need it.